everyone, welcome back to Muscular Development on YouTube. You are watching the Buff Bombshell Show. My name is Lauren Lotter and I'm with Emma Heinemann, aka The Posing Pro. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> How are you today, Lauren? I'm Just good. Bring my mic over. I'm to very me. good. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. I am good. I see we have this latest edition of muscular development here in the center. <laughs> With so big Rami on the front there. Yeah, this was the latest issue before the Olympia, ah. and now Big Rami has won. See, so, how did they know? I don't know. Head of the news, Mystic Muscular Develop. Oh, if you want to get muscular, follow Muscular Development. A. Hey. <laughs> 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 there is all always so much content on muscular development. Like yes. I feel like there's. 10 pieces of content a day that goes out on that YouTube channel. So much, so especially much. now with yeah. the Olympia and then the Arnold being so close together, mm -hmm. everything's been really jam packed. Yes. We've literally had bodybuilding. Christmas. We Yeah, it has literally been like that. Bodybuilding it's Christmas. It's been awesome. Now everyone can chill out a little bit. Now the Olympia has been. Yeah. There's a few more shows left of the season. Uh, a few more. Yeah. And then, um, so the last show sort of goes, I think it's Muscle Contest Island on the 4th. There's one in Amsterdam mid-December. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if there are any in the US in December, but there's bound I to be. Know. Yeah, there will be. Um, the next one coming up is really exciting. It's Monterey Classic in Mexico. Oh. It's going to be a wellness pro qualifier oh. for next year. Oh. Very excited. Ah. We've got Hungary, Fit Parade, Prague, Egypt, Egypt, Rome. wow. Men's Open. Oh. oh, and the winner wins a car. What? Yeah, they win a car. What? Uh, so what about if you're from like America? Do they ship your car wherever you are? Hovercraft. <laughs> Hovercraft it over. Maybe. Or Drop I ship it. They just cash the car in and oh. save the tax. And oh, and it's a good idea. You should advise them on that. Yeah. Yeah, is that what you would do? <laughs> yeah, 10% commission though, so, you know? Um, but no, we've got so many uh, more shows coming up, including Spain Alicante, mm -hmm. as well as oh, Romania. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe forget Romania. Romania's this weekend? No. Uh, the 13th of 13th. November. Ah, so November. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So there's still lots going on, so it's not like the season is done. No, so many to go. Mm. And I think... I'm being told to say Ashley Coltwas is competing in Romania. Oh, <laughs> really? I did not know that. And then what happens after she's competed in Romania? And then we've got the Ashley K for Olympia All-Star Tour. <laughs> so I'm not going to lie. I know we keep talking about this, but I'm so excited. Me too. I'm I mean, so, gosh. I know. No, right? but excited. Just remind us ticket prices. So ticket prices are forty two fifty. You can purchase them on buffbombshell.com. Just go to the Olympia All-Star tab, click mm -hmm. on it, purchase, and you will get your ticket. Yeah. Um, and then do not forget that we are doing four venues here in the UK, starting with Strength Pro Gym. Ooh, I cannot <laughs> wait for that. Cannot wait. I've cleared my diary. <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> Made myself available. No, I'm really excited. So it'll just be really great just to have Ashley down at the gym, mm. um, answering everyone's questions, doing some posing stuff talking about training uh i know you've got some goodie bags to give away yes we're hopefully going to have donuts there what else have we got um anyone else coming along any sponsors or anything oh we've got loads of sponsors yeah. we've got high tech we've got angel competition bikinis bikini mama we've got you defiance donuts i've got um uh i've got something else <laughs> liquid sun rays oh cool I know I've got a few others. Yeah. I need to contact them. But <laughs> there's going to be lots going on. I will make sure that everyone that comes mm -hmm. goes home with a goodie bag. Let's put that So one. make, sure you, make sure you head on over to the Buff Bombshell website and pick the date that suits you best. Make sure you take the day off work because it is not to be missed. No way. No. Like if you were serious about bikini or mm. um, about competing and you want to know more about the Olympia, this is this is an awesome way to actually mm -hmm. learn about it and not mm -hmm. just through YouTube, but you get to meet the person in person. Yeah. That's incredible. That is super cool. Super cool. I would, I would be 
booking my days and off also work. just like getting to like get inside her head and ask <laughs> some little tips you know and about being on stage and yeah. all her journey and her training yeah. we'll get her to do some posing yeah amazing cool i cannot wait she might even assess your posing as well so oh yeah actually yeah yeah ideas absolutely new ideas a 100 uh, percent. Oh if you know gosh. I, I, if I was competing, I would be there to absolutely pick her brains, mm. you know, um, learn as much as you can about the industry, because these are the pros that we have to learn from. Yeah. So instead of trying to stalk them on Instagram or, you know, see them on YouTube, you can actually see this person in real life and ask the questions that you want to know the answers yeah. to um, and just get some really honest, sound advice. And the same goes for coaches, I feel. Mm, like The coaches, you, let's not forget those. Yeah, you guys got so many bikini girls competing mm -hmm. now. Like, learn from somebody that's won the most amount of bikini pro shows ever. Mm -hmm. 29. I would be like pulling Ashley to one side, like, what's your prep? <laughs> what, what are you doing? What are you doing in your off season? What's your trainer split like? What are you eating? How many fats? <laughs> How much carbs? I want to know. Yeah. Literally. Oh my gosh. Oh, why? Yeah. I mean, yeah. So, I'm, yeah, I'm excited. So you guys, please be there. Make sure you're there. Yes. Otherwise, we'll just be asking and we're not sharing, so. <laughs> okay, but on that note, we are going to cover yes. the Wellness Olympia. Oh my God. So the first wellness division Thanks. on the Olympia stage. And boy, were we excited about this. The biggest glutes ever. I mean, oh, <laughs> it is the best for me. I just love this category. I have to say, I think it's become maybe my favorite female oh. category. Yeah, they made history this year. They did <laughs> history. I like it. They did. I we're gonna run with that. Um, so shall we take a look? Yeah, we're gonna take a look. Um, and we're starting off with Francie L. Matas, who is doing her eye walk on the Olympia stage. Here she is. What? A goddess. She is. Oh, oh, a little turn. Oh my God. Oh. Thank you, Giles. I must Amazing. say, the, the wellness posing is so much more fun. It is so much more fun. And again, I think it's really evolved since it first started. Um, because now I think if you don't have the wellness physique, it's very hard to fake. I mean, look at those glutes. Those are some nice little V-tips as well. Like oh, V-tips. Nice tight waist. And I even, do you know what I actually have really noticed in this front pose? Mm. Because initially when it first started, the girls were putting their front foot flat on the floor. Oh. So you could see the, the, the shape more of the quad. But now it's not about that. They're, they're not showcasing too much of a developed quad in that front face and pose okay. they're showing more of the size of the glute the size of the glute you guys which is big it matters oh i love this little look over her shoulder <gasps> i'm cracking oh she's divine see here that's not about showing a thick quad when she, she does this front pose this here yeah you see the quad doesn't look huge oh. and a little bow and a kiss I think, uh, so, friend C.L. Metas is coached by Ricardo Penan. Oh, nice. Uh, they brought it. They brought it. Oh, Issa Pereira Nunes. Oh. Um, okay, like, definitely somebody I had in my top five. Okay. Definitely, definitely. She's a little bit smaller. Yes, okay. she, yeah. So, if I was wellness, I'd like to look like this. She is, she just, she's got quite short legs, hasn't she? Yes. Long torso, she's, shorter legs. She's really tiny. Yeah. She's like a centaur. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful side pose there. A little bit less conditioned through the lower half, but mm. I actually think in that front pose, if she squeezed her left glute, mm -hmm. she'd get more condition yeah. through, the, through the glute and the legs. I feel like, um, you know how you were saying in our last episode how some of the bigger girls with the bigger followings might have been more hyped. Mm -hmm. Issa doesn't necessarily have as big a following. Mm -hmm. And I feel like she sort of worked really hard and just did her thing in silence yeah. and came out and was like, I'm here. I'm here. I brought it. Yeah, because I think it's true. Where everyone was anticipating mm -hmm. seeing Angela, 
um, Yurishna. And Yurishna. And those were really, even we said we were thinking, yeah. who's the top top spot going to go to? Is mm-hmm. it going to be Angela? Is it going to be Yurishna? And you kind of miss these dark horses that come in. Wow. Um, don't have such that huge, I love this little spinny thing that they're all doing. Wow. Nice. Yes, exactly. So like sometimes not always about like the bigger the following, mm. but it's like, don't always believe the hype. Absolutely. Don't but believe the hype. At the same time, congratulations to everyone that stepped on stage. Yeah. Definitely. Gorgeous. And the little transition scoop that they do. Yeah. With the hand. Lovely rear pose here. Yeah? That's nice. Yeah. Would you want to be wellness, Emma? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think Who I want to as well. Yeah. Like, yeah. But yeah, I just don't have the genetics for that at all um they're just so fantastic aren't yeah they? yeah oh. i just yeah i would love to look like this naturally I, i'm just, loving the sign i know i'm definitely loving all of the sass in the presentation <laughs> who's gonna be next who is it oh who oh look at her glutes She's and mean. her tiny waist oh nice okay 18. Oh, nice. I like. You know, the only thing I don't like on here are her shoes. But you I can't, can't see them. them. They're really small here. Oh, are they? They're awful. She's got a beautiful body. Really nice. Mm. Nice. Flick. <laughs> Look how long her glutes are. I see. Wow. That's a very long glute. I think, do you think that's because her bikini's quite high? No. I think that's her her genetics. Because mm. I think if her bikini was sitting lower, it would curve around the top of the glutes a little bit more. But then uh, on the side, do you know what I mean? It's above the hip bone. Yes. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I see that. If it was just a little bit lower around the top of the glute, it might just give her a little bit more fullness. <gasps> but she's lovely. I'm loving. She's another centaur. Yeah. Yeah. She's a. How did the wellness girls know to bring more sass? I don't know. Is it I, because it's like a... a um, did like a, they just create it? And are like they new? just more sassy? Because they're, a lot of them are Brazilian? Or mm. is that just a sweeping statement? <laughs> <laughs> and am I just... Uh, I don't know. Maybe they just... Are a lot of them Brazilian? I feel uh, like. A lot of them are Brazilian. Yes, a lot of them are US. Actually, there was quite an even split between the amount of girls that um, entered. So there were 24 qualified. Only 20 made it. And I think there were 10 ladies from the US. Right. So that, but there are more shows in the USA. Mm-hmm. So the ladies that didn't make like Giselle Machado, um, Charlene Mass, they all had visa issues. Mm-hmm. So they couldn't make it. So this is Bruna. Okay, yeah. She, you liked Bruna in a she, previous show. Yeah, she placed in the top 10. She's so much smaller though. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But in a good way. She's a bit like a, a sh- like, overall smaller like shorter and more compact like a pocket rocket wellness yeah like a poly pocket yeah (laughs) bob chick chickarello chickarello oh they call him out okay okay so this might be fun oh oh so they're lining up their top 10 so this is this the um prejudging this is finals oh it's finals it's a different stage so the ladies did the pre on the friday and i'm pretty sure they at the prejudging on saturday it was when they got awarded so they they dragged the wellness out for quite a bit right okay and a lot can happen in a day as well when you are on stage um so yeah really good bob chickarello Okay, so what are they going to do for... A, oh, okay, they're awarding. They're going straight into Wellness Awards here. Yeah. I'll be excited to do, when we do the reviews, mm. you know, of the comparisons. I think that'll be really interesting to watch. Different. Yeah. So we can just really do our comparisons as well. Mm-hmm. Um, because well, I was definitely surprised with these placings. Me too. Mm. We can. T- this is a uh, Lisa Miswinkle from Germany. 
She qualified for this Olympia by winning Alicante uh, NPC European Championships. Mm. So really stunning physique. Congratulations, Miss Winkle. Yes. <laughs> Very pretty. Lovely. And then, so that is our, is that fifth place? That is fifth place. Yeah. I and feel like, so in fourth place, okay. Also, oh, I'm going to pause it when it comes to fourth place so we can talk about this quickly. Yeah. Who's it going to go to? Oh, who's he? Fist bumping. <laughs> <laughs> But the first time wellness is on stage at the Olympia. Yeah. Um, first time ever. First time ever. And in fourth place, it goes to Yurishna Ayala. Yeah, surprising. I think we, everyone had said, well, we were expecting first and second mm. to go between um, Yurishna and Angela. Yes, I was um, definitely. I think some of us were surprised in how different Yurishna's physique looked. I agree. Yeah, compared to what we've kind of seen on socials. But, you know, this is, this is you know, real life. Um, remember, everyone takes their pictures from their best angles and, yes. and we can slightly adapt the light and to make things look a lot better. I haven't seen the comparisons for this lineup, but from the pictures I have seen of um, Angela and Yurishna next to each other and also um, Francelle, mm -hmm. I was surprised that Yurishna didn't look as conditioned as she did in her pictures. Me too. I she I I think she looked a bit swollen. So yeah. So what That's, do you think what do you think she may have overspilled or It's possible that she could have definitely overspilled. Maybe she tried something completely new, but like you said, it's completely different to what she looked like in her pictures. Maybe she takes them when she's really flat in the morning. Mm. So her waist also looks co so much tinier. Her waist looks tiny on her socials. On socials, she's just like, it's cinched in. Mm. It's, um, it's, it's yeah. incredible. But I was a bit surprised when I did watch the prejudging. Mm -hmm. So my honest opinion is that she looked a little bit uh, overspilled and mm -hmm. a little bit swollen. Ah, interesting and just not as sharp yeah and i wonder you know maybe it might because when you're on stage if you haven't practiced having that control over the core mm -hmm. for that amount of time sometimes you you struggle to keep mm -hmm. that engagement so maybe that was a part of it because i just felt when i was really looking and comparing the top three mm. that um that urishna was just she just looked thicker yes i agree but there's nothing wrong to me with her posing or anything because she's always bringing the sass level and she's presentation wise she looks great. Mm -hmm. But the actual body mm. shape on this particular showing wasn't what she brought, for, say, for example, at New York Pro, mm -hmm. which was really tight when mm. she won to Angela. Mm. And that's, yeah, that was, yeah. Bit, was a bit disappointing. Yeah, so it'd be interesting to see if there's any kind of feedback on that or if she gives any kind of thoughts um, on if she changed anything. So it's always interesting to know. Yes. Yeah. And in third place, we got Isa. Oh, yes. I was very happy with this for her. Yeah, she looked lovely. Mm. Really nice physique. Then it's like, who's going to be second and first? This was the big question, because once you were placed fourth, it was like, OK, you could see Issa going to third, and then it was like the fight for one and two. Yeah, absolutely. But fantastic first lineup yeah. for the first wellness division. Amazing. I know. And it's really going to set the bar now for the rest of the year because mm -hmm. they've had the criteria in place for a while, but now it's like, okay, mm -hmm. this is what the judges mm -hmm. want. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh. I wonder what the next category is going to be at the Olympia. Welkini. Yes. <laughs> Welkini. 
and men's fitness. Oh, men's fitness. <gasps> yeah. yeah. Please bring men's fitness because that would be really cool. I bet there's so many guys out there that like used to do gymnastics. Oh, yeah. Loads. In America, it's huge. Yeah, break dancing, fitness, flicky flex, everything. Flicky I would flex. love to see that. I would love that. A oh, couple's routine. Oh my gosh, yeah. I would love that too. Giles not, is not down. Oh, oh top oh, two. Top two, here we go. They really dragged this out. Like, they do. Oh. Look at her ass. It's really popping. It's just there. Like, <laughs> bam. <laughs> You know, like, because the bikini girls are a little bit, even the even the figure girls, like, when they relax, their glutes kind of disappear. Uh -huh. And I think that's normal for most people. But the wellness girls, the booty does not budge. It does not budge, you guys. It stays. Ooh. But physique and shape-wise, my, oh. my eye automatically goes towards Francia. Yeah. Look at the face, my yeah. goodness. Oh. She's like feline. Those green eyes. She's yeah. very pretty. She's yeah. like, oh my gosh. Oh, amazing. And all top three are blonde and have red bikinis, bikinis on. on. I know. So that old myth about you guys saying blondes do not do well yeah, at shows. Complete myth. Yeah. Look at all the booties. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's a lot of glutes. you can't you can't ignore like this is the best category. This is definitely the biggest glute category. Yeah. What's your favorite category? I do like the wellness now. I have mm. to admit, I've I've really taken to it. Mm -hmm. um, bikini's always kind of going to be there for me. Fitness is always there. Yeah. I have so much respect for each of the categories. Yeah. I have to say, I I have so much respect, but the wellness because it was so new, I was like, oh my goodness, this is what is this i think a lot of people are anticipating this um this category at the olympia excited to see it i think we're going to see a lot more wellness women i think so too this category is just going to explode well if you think hasn't. like this is where it's starting this is the standard this is great like where's it going to go <sighs> wow wonderful but what a great first um wellness show yeah at the olympia sensational love it oh she's so emotional Aww. beautiful physique fantastic absolutely love the shape mm -hmm. the tiny waist the the condition with francie Elsh. i think she got spot on um you know just yeah beautiful wow i'm just admiring all, all the <laughs> wellnessness the wellnessnessness <laughs> <laughs> so you guys that's your top five your Rishna, Angela, Francio, Issa and Lisa yeah beautiful do you notice how they all have really thin connectors on their bikinis they do and they sit nice and high mm. yeah oh, I love them <laughs> I love them like this video if you want to be wellness yeah like this video in general if you just want to see more wellness. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Amazing. Yeah, beautiful. beautiful. Fantastic. So that is our first ever wellness division on the Olympia stage. Um, we cannot wait to see where this category grows and grows. Goes and grows. <laughs> <laughs> Who uh, knows? Who knows? Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode on muscular development. You are watching The Buff Bombshell. My name is Lauren Latte, and you are watching it with Emma Heinemann, The Posing Pro. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and turn your notifications on. Have a great day. See you later. Bye. Okay, you guys, so we have a hot news segment for you and we're going to start off with Phoebe Hagen. So hot off the, <laughs> um, uh, not the Olympia, the Arnolds that were here in the UK two, oh, a week and a bit ago. Yeah. 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 Um, she qualified for next year's Olympia. So that means she is going 2022. Yes. How amazing. Um, 
Phoebe has been chasing this Olympia invite since 2018 when she turned yes. pro. Yeah. Um, she narrowly missed it last year at the Grand Prix in the UK where she came second to Stein Hansen mm-hmm. um, from Denmark. So it's a really big moment for her. Mm-hmm. And of course, to get that Olympia invite in the UK on home soil, she <laughs> flew over from Dubai Um to compete in the Arnolds. It's the show she decided she was gunning for. Mm. Um, She had her family there in the audience. Obviously, a lot of people that know Phoebe as well. She was obviously a huge standout on stage. Huge standout. So um, what an absolutely fantastic moment for her. And much deserved as well. She's made fantastic improvements with Adam from Team Elite Physique. Yes. Um... And her, her, she looked perfect, you know, fantastic. Um, definitely her best look to the stage. So yes, oh yeah, okay. Phoebe's Phoebe's invite. But yeah, there's a glam. She looks beautiful. Yeah. So yeah, congratulations, Phoebe, because like uh, you've been working for it for quite a while. So it's yeah. um, you know, I remember when she won Tampa mm-hmm. back in 2019, and they didn't have the rule. The, the win you're in yet oh. and then she was trying to qualify on points and she did like I six know. shows that year missed out mm. and then 2020 happened and i think she competed in one or two and then mm. this year she's only competed in one so far so yeah. it's it's really worked it's paid off and um she's come back stronger she so has. we will see her absolutely okay <laughs> amazing we'll see you next year we will how exciting and then we'll be reviewing this yeah <laughs> awesome so that's really cool yep so that's hot news for our one and only phoebe hagen and next we're going to go on to our new pros that qualified at the arnold's as well so first up we have sarah harley from the uk yeah so sarah's in the wellness division she's been chasing this pro card um for a little while um she's I think it was definitely her best package. Oh, yeah. She's always been destined for wellness. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So, um... Look at that. Her her glutes just have a mind of their own. (laughs) I was going to say they have no chill. (laughs) They have no chill. No. Um... She... I think she coaches herself, too. Oh, does she? Um, so she's been working so hard this year... She's done about four different shows this year just to um, earn her pro card. Yeah. And I think the Arnold's one was definitely her time. Mm-hmm. So that's, I think, oh, well, yeah. tribute as well here. Yeah. So if you guys don't know, Sarah Harley was actually the partner to the juggernaut Luke Sandow mm-hmm. um, from last year, who also sadly passed away. Mm-hmm. So um, I think that just m- spurred her on and just yeah. kind of like gave her the fire to, mm-hmm. to go for it. But she looks great. She does. She looks awesome. And yes. Fantastic. So congratulations, Sarah. Much deserved. We're really, really happy (laughs) for you. Very awesome. Yes. And now we're going to go on to the new IFBB Bikini Pro, Emma Jack. Yes. Who was completely taken by surprise. but (laughs) She was, yeah. Um, So Emma had her first competing season this year Mm -hmm. and you've actually posed her for two years. Yeah, yeah. So she came to me two years ago and I said to her, oh, I think you'll do really well in the IFBB division. So she's done both um, both styles of bikini. Mm-hmm. Um, and she, here we have it. She is a new pro. Um, she's won, I think she's won all of the shows she's done this, <laughs> this um, season. She won her first time a show in mm-hmm. standard bikini. And then she's gone on to do the Arnold's. Um, yeah, she looks great. Fantastic. And also, fun fact, I think she's like, what, the second Scottish pro? Oh. To Alex, because Alex is Scottish. Yes. And Emma is Scottish too, so yeah. go Scotland. She must be, yeah. Yeah, go Awesome. Sc- so, fantastic. <laughs> Lovely physique. Um, So, exciting to see what will be coming from mm. Emma um, next year as well. Um, But, yes, well done. So that is Emma Jack from Scotland. Mm-hmm. And now we're going on to our new figure pro, which is Christy Sanderson. Yeah. Um, so Christy has been in figure for quite a while now too. Mm-hmm. And she's just been working hard. Yeah. Like she's been crazy working hard. I'm pretty sure we had her in the studio in Birmingham about a month ago. 
month or two ago. Oh. I think so. Um, I might be wrong, but if not, <laughs> she's got someone who looks just like her. But well, I'm pretty sure we did. I think, yeah. Um, she lovely physique. Mm. Um, great condition. Good balance. Um, yeah, she's she's perfect for the figure category. <laughs> oh, you enjoy your frozen yogurt. Uh, she's got her sword. So I don't know if her plans will change, but Christy is going to take 2022 off to develop and grow. Mm -hmm. And then she's going to plan to make a pro debut in 23. But, you know, that might change. Yeah. Um, let's be honest. Sometimes the you, you get the bug and you just want to go for it. But we'll see what happens here. Yeah. Watch this space. Yeah, I think as well, when you first get the, when you get your pro card, um, that's when we said before, you know, sometimes you're starting from scratch again yeah. in regards to where you stand in the lineup. Cause essentially you finish being the best oh. of your, of your lineup. And it's kind of like, you got to really go back, have a look, what have I got to improve on? Yeah. Um, and, but also then you need to see yourself in a pro lineup to see where, mm. how you would fare. Dance analogy. It's like when you, you leave your dance school when you're 18 and then you go to your professional dance school, you know, you're the, you're either like you were the best and mm. then all of a sudden you become the number yeah exactly 100 <laughs> percent. it's the same thing so you gotta just you know put the work in but she got a lovely faint um, frame there mm. great development thickness condition small waist um lovely really nice physique so that's awesome well done to christy and then our last uh uk pro athlete mm -hmm. um who turned pro at arnold's is michelle mm-hmm Shelly Mensa. Yeah. So Shelly did fitness. She did. Well, she also did figure on Arnold's, but she came second. Right, okay. And then she earned her pro card in fitness at the Arnold's UK. Fantastic. I ha actually <laughs> haven't seen any of her routine. It's, um, she's, she comes from a gymnastics background. Yeah. So that's a big part of it. And mm -hmm. she's also done a lot of dancing, a lot of ballet. Ah. Shelly is one of these girls like Alex that completely transformed her physique over mm -hmm. the last three years. Um, I've been watching Shelly's journey since 2018. Mm -hmm. And the photos, if I can, I'll, I'll find one in a bit, but she looks completely different. Like she's put the work in. She's, she's evolved. And I remember when I saw her a good few years ago, um, she had, the she had the shape and the frame there, mm. but she just needed to kind of understand bodybuilding a little bit more mm -hmm. and just do a little bit of time um, refining her physique. Uh, but she, you can tell she from her frame and her stature, she's a quick responder. Mm. You know, she's got that athletic background already. Nice. Lovely. Yes. Yeah, so she is our new UK nice. fitness pro, and she's going to Olympia 2022. Wow. So yeah. Let's hope. I really think she'll bring the fire next year. I do too. So if you guys don't know about Shelly, go check out her fitness. Because um, how amazing that you know you yeah. can get your uh, obtain your pro card, <laughs> and then go straight to the Olympia. Mm. He at the Arnold's. Yes. So with the fitness category at the Arnold's, there was only Kate Arrington that did it. Mm -hmm. um, and then Shelly obviously got her pro card, went up against Kate. And, and got the win. So now yeah. she's going. Yeah. I mean, I'm just being stating facts here. Yeah, no, there, well, it is facts, isn't it? I do think with Kate that she she's not a gymnast. Mm -hmm. She's a dancer that is, has like athletic ability. An artistic ability. Artistic ability as well. But this is, you know, you're judged on your um, your fitness. You're not your fitness, but your gymnast. Yeah. Gymnastic skills. So, um, so yeah. Absolutely beautiful. But congratulations to Shelly because you are going to your first Olympia yeah. 2020. You don't even have to do a pro debut if you want to. No. She could just go. She could just this, go. This was your pro I debut. I wonder if she would actually do a pro. I would do a pro debut for more experience. I think that would be a very good idea. Yeah. Um, but good luck. Mm -hmm. Absolutely good Lovely. luck. Yeah. Fantastic physique. Exciting. So you guys, that is Shelly, just to give you yeah. an idea quickly yeah. here. Once a dancer. There you go. Oh, nice. She likes her ballet. Yeah. Um, but thank you so much for watching Muscular Development, the Buff Bombshell Show. Yes. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure you like, share and subscribe. And we look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thanks. Thanks, guys.
Hi everyone, my name is Lauren Latta, co-promoter of the Olympia All-Star Tour here in the UK with Giles Tiger Thomas. We are exactly five weeks out to having Ashley Kaltwasser visiting us here in the UK and I would like to show you guys how you can purchase your tickets to visit Ashley Kaltwasser, pose with her and meet her and ask her all of your favorite bikini questions. So all you have to do to purchase your ticket is head on over to www.buffbombshell.com, click onto the Olympia All-Star Tour tab you will be presented with an option of five gyms, four here in the UK and one in Spain. So there are two different ways to purchase your ticket. One, if you are a resident here in the UK and two, if you are going to be visiting Ashley in Spain. So we'll start off with the UK first. All you have to do is choose which gym you want to visit Ashley at. So for example, I will choose Ultimate Birmingham Fitness or Ultimate Fitness in Birmingham. Click your, um, add the ticket to your cart view your cart and then when you are in your cart you click on the free uk shipping option proceed to checkout enter in your billing details and other payment details choose to either pay by paypal or by debit or credit card click on the terms and conditions and then proceed and you have purchased your ticket to visit Ashley Kaltwasser here in the UK. But if you are coming from Spain or anywhere from the EU, go back to the Olympia All-Star Tour tab, click on the 24th of November Empro Training Academy Spain tab, add the ticket to your cart, view your cart, and I'm just going to take out this UK option. And what you're gonna do over here is you're just going to put in the coupon tour, apply it. You will get free shipping because it's a ticket and all you have to do is proceed to check out. Enter in your billing details and other details, then choose to pay by either PayPal or debit or credit card and then click on the terms and conditions and proceed to checkout. And that is if you are living in anywhere in the EU or in Spain. So you guys, that is how you can purchase your ticket to visit Ashley Kaltwasser here in the UK or at Spain. We hope to see you there. If you have any other questions, please email us at buffbombshell100 at gmail.com or visit us on Instagram at buffbombshellxoxo. And we look forward to seeing you guys and have an amazing week. Bye.